All right, so we're gonna try this new block this year. Every year it seems like I try a different block. Some of them um, I keep going back to, like the, uh, the trophy rock. Uh, I always go back to this. We're gonna put this, the trophy rock, on the other side of my stand. So, um, on the other side here, so you can, it's very windy out here, guys, and I'm on the edge of a living room. It's flat. There's nothing to block the wind. Um, we're gonna put the trophy rock down there on, uh, on that side of the field. Over here on this side of the field, though, we're gonna try that. This is a, a common place for deer to come through, but we wanna bring the bucks through. You can see here we, we have uh, deer paths, we got uh, rubs and um, scrapes all over here. So, we're gonna use the same um, log that we've been using over the last few years. Uh, they seem to not care about it. Um, and we're using the big tine block this is um, Cherry Rush, okay? So it says, attract, develop, grow, nutritional supplement for deer and wildlife. Um, 25 pound block, find a well-used deer trail for crossing of two deer trails or crossing to choose um, a spot with cover about six feet away from the trail, clear away leaves, debris from area exposed soil. The site should matter about three feet place block on the center of your prepared site your site will attract monster deer in the spring summer and early fall right now it's a September 1st so we're going for the early fall warning do not feed the sheep uh, contains copper which is toxic to sheep I guess I don't know, I don't know what the hell that is anyways crude protein 6% fat 1.4 fiber 5% calcium let's see a lot of vitamins salt 10.8 percent uh, another salt nine percent all right made in the usa let's give this a try um what we're gonna do like i said we're gonna move that because we already know the deer have been coming here i'm thinking i want to move it actually right there um i think that's a great spot and then i'm going to set up the game camera right up there boom we'll show you what it looks like so here's the video leading up to our spot you got the mineral block right there on the same log we've been using for years. We got a brand new camera right there. About 10 feet away at an angle hitting that. So basically the deer are going to come in here. Sometimes they come out of that wood line. Um, sometimes they just come straight out from there. But they're going to congregate here. I'm going to come out here with a hatchet or a the weed whacker and try to get some of this scrub brush out of the way so make this nice and flat so they can mill around and eat and crap like that so let's look at the video or, or pictures from that all right three weeks in and this thing is just getting obliterated i don't know if they're hitting it with their paws and making it chip off i guess we'll, we'll check the the game camera pictures but it is like they're hitting it or biting it and scraping it off somehow um, but it is getting hit hard. I mean, all you can tell that something is digging at that. So, so far so all good. Right. So what I noticed around the block was that a lot of it was actually chipped away. And I think this may be the biggest culprit of that is a bunch of birds are just pecking at it and pecking at it. And it seems to be like granules and it's like loosened up and it's spilled over. So... That's something to be aware Besides of. Besides the birds, it also attracted a large amount of squirrels and then also a ton of raccoons every single night. Also, we have a coyote coming to the big time block. There's the raccoons that come every night and seem to uh, enjoy the block. And we even have possums coming in to join the party here. So after 19 days of the block and camera being out there, we finally get a picture of a deer. Uh, this is a doe out there, and she's coming at uh, 1240 a.m. Okay, before we get to the review, I want to show you this. This has been out here for about two months now. Okay, look. It just crumbles. You could stick your whole hand through this. Um, that's, uh, we're going to use that as a factor. Now, we'll say, see that salt block? That got here about two weeks after I put this out. And that thing is still pretty much maintaining its size shape and everything like that I put this even under a canopy so that it would get less rain and that's wide open 
the trophy block over here that I always always put one of these out I've done reviews on them before uh, great product well worth the money it's still maintained it's uh, this is fully exposed to weather and the deer I know use this um, but it's just we're gonna put all that into our review all right so now we're at the review portion of the big time block cherry rush bt90 uh, let's start off with the things I liked it the price the price point it's, it's not gonna break the bank so it relatively costs the same as those uh, the small ones the ones are like that that are like the size of the actual brick it was about the same price as one of those um, so 10 bucks or less it's not gonna break the bank um, it's been out there for about two and a half months now uh, so almost three months and it's still there so it hasn't you know washed away completely as you saw it's uh it is not solid anymore um and the inside so so like i did paw through it and the inside is primarily corn um which when corn gets wet it doesn't uh doesn't do as well as hard corn like that's this dry um so anyways we're talking nice about it now so let's i'm trying to think um, it did attract animals, so if uh, if you wanted to just attract animals on your property, this would be a great investment for you. Ten bucks or less, not really investment. This would be a great thing for you to buy for your property if you just wanted to attract any type of animal. Um, I think that it would be great for like a uh, um, backyard situation. Um, However, let's talk about the negatives now. Uh, as soon as it, as soon as water hits it, it starts losing its form. So it's uh, it's not a solid anymore. It starts moving in more into like a granule. The animals, birds, squirrels, possums, raccoons, two deer over the last two and a half months. So I put my camera out. Basically, what you didn't see is. I put my camera back out after uh, the one doe hit it one night and um, basically the same doe came back a few days later and hit it again but uh, also tons of other animals. It was like a, uh, a Disney princess parade in there of, of different animals. Birds, squirrels, chipmunks, um, hummingbirds, possums, raccoons, coyotes, everything else liked that big tine block um not so much the deer um that i wanted i wanted some big bucks to come into it i figured the cherry scent would bring them in however when you smell it you can't really smell a cherry uh odor uh even the artificial cherry like a kool-aid cherry like a cherry kool-aid you can't smell that even so i'm not sure what the the cherry portion is of it i'm sure there's an additive or something like that so we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and grade it um, I did not like the fact that it falls apart completely when it's wet and that it didn't really attract deer um, per se I could have put a regular five dollar white salt block like I did put past it to attract deer over I could have put one of those out there and had the same amount of um, deer if not more so because it, it was only like 10 percent salt so i could have put a salt block out there and it would actually attract more salt uh or more deer so it's important to note that in ohio you're allowed to bait so i can put you know a 50 bag of corn out there 50 pound bag of corn and um and attract deer you know pretty easily because it's a soybean field so uh they're gonna come over anyways so uh we're gonna go ahead and grade this now um, and we're taking, you know, uh, in, in the whole picture, we're going to be using the price point, the durability of it, the, uh, um, attractability from deer. I obviously do not know how it affects their insides, like if it's good for them or not, but only one deer came in 2000 pictures. So, uh, so, and it was the same deer twice. So maybe her insides are doing really good. She'll live to be 30 years old. But um, So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
zero being the worst product ever and 100 being the best product ever, I would give this product a 55. So not failing, well, it is failing, but not horrible, but not worth the money. I think I would rather spend like two or three bucks more and just get another trophy rock, um, which I already have two out there. You saw I put one just a little bit past it and I put one on the other side of my stand. The trophy rocks are great products. I've never had a bad experience with the trophy rock. Um, they always bring in deer. Uh, that's why I put that so close to that one because I knew that actually the trophy rock would work. So um, for a few dollars more, you can just buy that and it's not gonna you know, fall apart within two and a half, three months. Um, now maybe that's their uh, idea they want it to, you know, disintegrate and cover whatever you're putting on and then the animals will eat it off there. But like I said, I've had the camera out there for almost three months and two 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 times a deer has came to it. Uh not not good. Um the little blocks, like it's like I said, the ones that are like the size of an actual brick, those ones have a strong scent to them. Like if you get the acorn, the apple uh, I think they even have a cherry. You can smell, you open that up and you can smell whatever they're advertising. Um, I know they have a corn one too, uh, sweet corn. So um, you can smell that. If I can smell it, I know a deer can. So, and those are only like five bucks. And I know it's only five pounds or so. I think you're getting at four or five pounds, that brick. But I think that would be better money spent than to spend a little bit more and get the big block and not attract anything. So that's just my two cents. I don't know, leave in the comments if you've tried this product and you're like, oh, it's great, I don't know what he's talking about, then more power to you, leave it in the comments. It's November and those are the only two deer pictures off that camera and it was the same deer twice. Uh, everything else came, so basically what I, I am doing is adding different things around it to attract something in the area um, because that's not working so um, there you go uh, subscribe like comment share the video because I think it's important for everybody to know about a product before they buy it I always watch a bunch of videos on something before I buy it so uh, I think that's important so do all those things and God bless